Hello everyone, and this is Venom Introductory Sessions for Developers, again, number 6. Today we are going to connect our smart contract to front-end, uh, read some data, write some data, how to connect wallet, and uh, yeah, pretty basic routines. And after that I hope you will be ready to, to build. So we have some smart contract from previous session, a sample contract, and uh, we will try to integrate it into React application. Uh, implement basic connect wallet functionality and uh, read some data from the contract we'll send some messages to it uh, so you, you'll have a, in the end you will have like a building blocks and some some notion on, on how to how to integrate and interact with smart contracts and um, some prerequisites so we will need a few libraries we will need uh, I, I'm, I'm going to to demonstrate it uh, uh, on, on React. And we also will need uh, Venom Connect library, which has some um, uh, some ready-made pop-ups for connect, disconnect wallet. And uh, it has uh, this code snippet on, on readme.md in the main repo. I'll just copy paste it here and uh, change my network ID to 1002 because it stands for DevNet. Also will change uh, RPC endpoint to look on DevNet. Few more libraries we need is Everscale and Page Provider and Everscale Standalone Client. Um, well, actually, Everscale Standalone Client is not really necessary, but you will need a Page Provider anyways. And here uh, we are. Uh, so the first thing to do, uh, we need to connect our ABI of our smart contracts, included uh, some some somewhere under our application path, and uh, put uh, this as const statement so that it will be picked up by uh, TypeScript system and you will get your uh, fancy code completion out of the box, like we have in Locklift as well. I'll declare a constant of, of address of my deployed smart contract as well. And uh, here I have some boilerplate setup. Actually, I, uh, it's heavily inspired by uh, Bernard from Developer DAO. Uh, you can look at uh, the original one here. It's Next.js application with Connect Wallet component. And, uh, and yeah, th thank you very much, Bernard, for, for referencing that. Mm, it, it, it was it was really useful during the development of the tutorial. So uh, we have this mm, sort of uh, so yeah I, I changed it a bit, but anyways uh, it's pretty much the same. I have connect and disconnect buttons, uh, and uh, let's test it out. For that we will need uh, of course to run local development server. Uh, I'll do it with npm run start as usual. Cool. So that, that's how it should work right now. And yeah, let, let's let's take it as a starting point to integrate some some functionality. So the first thing I want to do is to uh, connect uh, to create a sample uh, smart contract instance so that I will be able to call its methods. And so let's create some state here. And uh, there is uh, a tricky sy syntax for, for typing of, of our smart contract instance. And also, I will create some state for, for actual variables, uh, which are hold in our smart contract. So that I'm going to read the state, subscribe to state changes, and implement a change state button as well. Okay, this one is going to be a number. Right. Now, uh, we are not actually always ready to create smart contract instance, because for that we need provider. So let's wait for the provider instance. For that I'm going to use effect and and put a provider state variable as a dependency. Nice, nice. Now I can create my sample instance using ABI and address, like we do in Locklift. And also, I'm, I want to make sure my provider is actually here. So here is my contract. And now I'm going to set sample to this instance. Right. 
Okay, now I should have, at some point, I should have a sample instance. So let's subscribe to that and create another effect and read some state from it. Okay, now I want to make sure my wallet is actually connected, just just in case. And uh, that I, actually that I have sample instances there. Okay, now uh, to to get some state out of it, I should await uh, for it. But but within a use effect hook, I cannot use await. So let's just wrap it with async in place function call and and await for sample methods state. Right. So it's going to uh, return me an object with state field. And this is a string, by the way. So I'll, I'm going to cast it to number and set sample state with that. Nice. Let's check it out. Oh, before, <laughs> before we check it out, we need to render. So we're going to render. OK, I'm going to render Z just just above the uh, disconnect button. Pretty simple, just rendering sample state. Okay, I'm gonna check it out now. Cool, it reads the state. So it's now 42, and let's implement something to change it to some another number so that we can demonstrate uh, sending messages. So I'm going to define a send external msg function, which will which will send an external message to the contract. As far as you may remember, I have uh, a method called uh, called set state by owner, which is which is intended to be executed by external message. So I'm going to set state by owner, pass some another number here. Let's use something elite like. 1337 and send external. So ins inside the send external, I need to pass the pop key with, with which I want to sign it. And it will take it from browser extension. I already have a state variable in the pop key and hooked it to, uh, to my application already. So let's use it for signing. And uh, I need to, all right, I have type and error, so I need to put, put the sign here, okay, nice. Now let's create a button and, and hook that function to a button. Okay, I'm going to check it out now. Right, so uh, I don't expect it to see here in the application the new number. So let's check it with, uh, with tools.venom.rs. That's just because I, I didn't implement it, uh, the state change subscription yet. So Right, oops, I see aborted. Exit, exit code 103. Ah, oh, that's that's because I have the, this required check. Uh, so I cannot set a state to a number higher than one hundred. You may remember that from previous sessions, right? Let's uh, let's let, let's put some another number here. Now let's check it out. Again, I'm going to, to use Venom tools to double check it if my message executed successfully. All right, I see it. Uh, let's double check. So, yeah. Now, we see that our page didn't update it with new state. That's because we didn't, um, we don't have this um, event subscription. 
So how I'm going to implement it is that I'm going to use um, subscription functionality of, uh, of a provider. And for that, I'm going to go to my sample instance, use dot events and pass a new subscriber instance here. Okay, events instance and implement uh, state update reactions. Okay, so my contract emits some events. I'll I will receive it here and check if it's actually the event I expect. So I'm expecting state change event and use the actual data inside this event to update my to update the state of the application. Okay. Now it should work. Oh, already updated. Nice. Let's double check. Let's put let's um, put it put it back to 42. Okay. Cool. Seems to be working nice now. Uh, that's it for today. I think with this building blocks, you are fully ready to journey of the next three weeks. Uh, good luck in development, and feel free to ask any questions as always. I'm with you.